We've got Illinois coach Brad Underwood. Well, I'd like to sit up here and say that uh, I saw something new tonight. Unfortunately, it's the uh, same chapter in a, in a, in a uh, seen it before. Um, I uh, shot ourselves in the foot again, and um, but I'm, I'm really disappointed because we had a really good week of practice, and I thought we made some strides defensively, and uh, uh, for them to be able to move the ball around like they did, and then they just absolutely just destroyed us in the post uh, in the first half in that big run, and that's why we have to play the way we play defensively. Uh, we were without Leron. We were small, um, and uh, you know everybody I put in played dead behind. That's not what we do, and uh, they exploited us. And then uh, uh, we talked about three things a great deal, and uh, heading into this game, Jamal did a great job on the scout. We talked about Zach Lofton going left. He scored every field goal going left. Uh, we talked about offensive rebounding because they're one of the top teams in the country. And, uh, and we talked about live ball turnovers because they do a great job of converting. 21 points on 13 turnovers is just about um, every trip. But uh, uh, I got to do a better job. Uh, it's, there's no doubt about that. Uh, and, and get you guys to, uh, to execute, play game, that's on me. Um, you know, we've got same out of bounds plays that I've I've been able to run for some time that have, have always been pretty effective and worked and and uh, uh, guys got to make plays and and I've, I've got to do a better job I got to help them and I I will help them and uh, we'll find a way to uh, uh, to get that done but uh, we let their their heroes uh, beat us and we talked about not letting not letting Jamero Jones and and uh, Zach Lofton beat us and those guys those guys had big games and and when the other team's best players have big games, it's usually uh, trouble. Those end-of-game scenarios, um, did you talk any of that up to an experienced leadership, guys getting tight in those moments, or just not getting through? What do you explain that? I've got to figure that out, Shannon. I, 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 it's probably all of that. I, you know, we, we are young. We're putting freshmen out there. We're putting guys who haven't been in those moments before. Um, it's my job to put them in areas where they can succeed and be successful, and I'm obviously not doing that. And um, but it's at, at, along with that, um, we we've got to have some 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 pride in executing and doing the small things, and that's uh, combination. Does it make any? Does it affect the game at all that when you're trying to make that crucial inbound play, the 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 stereo system is blasting out Lou Bega. Well, I didn't even hear. I don't even know. I didn't even know. So Probably not. I'll have to look at that on film. I didn't know. What was the progress with Laron and Kipper this week leading in? What did you think of both of them tonight? You know, Laron's really a good player. I mean, really, really a good player. And, and there's no doubt that we need him on the floor. I think he was um, you know, he was he was out a couple days. Um, you know, he, he's 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 a guy that we've got to count on. Uh, he was good, really good practice yesterday. Uh, you know, Kipper's coming back off of, off his off a foot injury that that, that was aggravated. Um, you know, his progress, I guess, is a little bit slower, um, and 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 it wasn't as effective in practice as as he has been. And uh, you know, I, I felt like there might be some limited minutes for him tonight, just in terms of, of the way he had practiced. I don't like throwing guys out there that have it uh, that have not practiced. Um, I think there's a direct correlation between good practice and, and playing in the game. So, um, but uh, obviously, the run in the second half was 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 back to normal. What happened at halftime that uh, inspired such a wide turnaround early in the second half? That was all Tijon Lucas. I I've done it before. I I like I said we've seen this we've seen this chapter of the book before, and uh, you know I've I've had the I've had a couple moments 
and at some point um, there has to be some, some, some leadership, there has to be some internal pride, um, there has to be some of that, and, and uh, I just told him single-handedly, I, you know, I, I'm, when, when you don't do what we practice every day, and we didn't do that in the first half, at some point somebody's going to have to step up and demand that their teammates do that, and Tijon did that today. Brad, I'm curious, when you say same old story, is that tough for you? Does that sit in your craw a little bit when we, we're talking about turnovers in late-game situations? And it's sure. Same thing? I mean, those are things that I've taken a lot of pride in that, that, I, that I've, I've won a lot of. Um, and, uh, you know, making a simple inbounds play and, and an in, in, inbounds pass shouldn't be that hard. And it's, it's not that hard, to be very honest. It's pretty simple. And yet, you've got to execute it. And uh, execution has been some of the little details. Those all matter. And, and we don't have uh, a tremendous amount of, 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 of leeway. We've got to execute. And when we do, we're really good. And when we don't, you see those things happen, and that's, that's something I've, I've got to demand of. I've got a demand of. We work on out of bounds plays every single day. We spend a, we spend a lot of time on them, and uh, uh, you got to read that the guy's coming over the top, and and we Michael standing wide open in the corner, and and then you've got to come meet passes late and do that and set screens and things. We got to we got to demand we do so I can give them some confidence. Brady took over a program that struggled uh, for the past four years, but has that mentality part been harder than even you expected, just changing that mentality part? Um, that's part of a culture change. Um, you know, I think the one thing that, that um, I will keep telling them, losing's unacceptable. And, and you're, there's winners and losers in life in, it, in any facet. And you guys have that in your fields. And you got to learn to compete. And you got to learn, and, and you got to learn to fight. And, uh, uh, and you got to learn to, uh, uh, sometimes not be the most likable guy in the locker room because it's your teammates and, and be confrontational. Um, yeah, it's, it, I'm a bad loser. I've said that many, many times. I'm not a very good loser. And, and I'm not going to sit back and, and just accept that. Um, so, yeah, I think there's some parts of it. You know, anytime uh, you take over, and, 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 and I knew we were young. I knew we were young. I knew there was going to be some, some youthful mistakes. Um, but the thing that bothers me more than that is the, is the, the not coming out playing the way we play. And we did that for the first half. It seemed like maybe the first few minutes of the first half, it looked like you are going to avoid the slow starts that kind of played you. What, where did it slip? Oh, I think there's three or four missed layups in there. I think there's two or three. Uh, turnovers, all and they all happened in a row. You know what I mean? We we I think Mark Allstork missed a couple layups. Uh, but then we take a we take a quick three. Um, then I think it's it's um, you know we're, we're not disciplined enough yet to run offense when stuff is hard. We give into that and just and just go. And good teams can't do. You mentioned the fight. Clearly, there's been some fight there. You've come down from uh, three double to the second half deficits in three games with UNLV and Maryland and out tonight. Um, so, the fight's there. So, to what do you attribute kind of the late game struggles, the late game execution situation? It's all me. I can do a better job. I, I, get, I mean, yeah. You know, there, there's, there's uh, no, no, no excuses for that. I'll take the hit for that. I've got to get them better. I've got to demand that they that they do it the right way, and um, and we will get better. I promise you that. After the Northwestern game, you had said you expected a rivalry game to have you know a sellout or a lot of fans there. Do you, do you have that same feeling at a game like this? There's less than 5,700. Just kind of hope for a better turnout in games like this. And United Center, kind of a marquee non-conference game. Yeah, I mean, I you know I I don't. I don't worry about that too much, Shannon. I, I you know, I think there's, there's, uh, this is, this is a game that's we take a lot of pride playing here. We have a, a lot of alumni here. Uh, we've got the greatest fans ever. I mean, I think we're drawn to twelve thousand, close to 11, 12,000 on average, in Champaign. Um, 
I, I get it. You know, I would have, you know, in a perfect world, I would have loved to see this at 1 o'clock in the afternoon so there weren't so many Christmas parties. Um, you know, people can get to, and maybe different time helps. But I, I'm not I'm not overly concerned about, about that. I'm more concerned about getting my basketball team to, to, to be a little better right now. You went small today, uh, a lot of time with T. John and Trent on the floor at the same time, and one during one stretch you even had Mark there, so basically three point guards. Uh, can you talk about the advantages and disadvantages and how that worked? Well, the advantages were they were all three guarding. Secondly, they were all three the most competitive guys that we had had going in the game. Uh, but there are disadvantages. Uh, they exploited us in those. Um, when you have small guards at this level and you get a kid like Zach Lofton, it doesn't bother him. just jumps right over him. And, uh, you know, they were, uh, they made their run with that lineup. So as good as it was offensively for us, it was also very challenging defensively. Um, and, and I think there's, there's a, there's a, there's a pattern that, that is that, that we've got to create. You know, we've, we've got to stop with, with other bigger guards hurting us. We got we got to figure it out. We got to fight. Gotta, but again, those are all catches, and we said we were going to make Zach, Zach Lofton's catches harder, and we didn't. So, Tijon's had these moments this season. May halftime with UT Martin in the second half against Northwestern. Is he, is he a guy that's going to need to just do that all the time for this team? Or yeah. That's what point guards do. Yeah. That's what, I mean, point guards lead. Point guards make plays for others and make plays for themselves when the time's right. Good point guards do that. I'm, I'm, I, I fully expect it. I, 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 I have all the confidence in the world in Tisha. Maybe as much as anybody on this team. And, and uh, uh, the leadership reigns, I, I keep trying to give it. And, and, he's, and he's getting better. And he's getting better. Uh, you know, Trent stepped up. You know, Trent was demanding guys, you know, in, in the in the huddle. And uh, but making plays, sometimes you've got to uh, uh, you know, you got to demand of others what you give. You had a conversation with Jamario Jones after he forced a, a, a turnover with uh, T. John on the sidelines. What uh, when you have an opportunity to talk to a star player on the other team? What, what do you do? Well, we were talking about what he was going to do for Christmas, Rob. And I, <laughs> I've known him for a long time, and uh, he went to Hill Junior College, and and uh, I know his coach very well. I recruited out of that program. I saw him as a freshman, and uh, just told him he was congratulating him on having a heck of a career, and and uh, you know he's it's very simple, very very simple. Thank you, Thank you Coach. We have uh, Lucas and Black and.